remember way back about 10 years ago when I used to coach the young kids in and around Leeds, people like Stevie Ward and Brad Singleton, and two monsters turned up that I'd heard a lot about because of Sam Burgess and that was Tom and George. I remember thinking these are going to be outstanding for Leeds, hopefully one day because it was my club, but uh, just before Christmas we had our last training session, I remember both of them coming up really polite, nice as you could ever think of a 15 year old and went thanks for what you've done for us Jamie uh, we'll see you later and I've got this inkling that they might not be playing at Leeds next year and they, they ended up at Bradford which was fair enough because you've gone on a, a great journey one of the, the most iconic names in rugby league now particularly in NRL and uh, you're still only 25 yeah. years old so to ask him who the the top five toughest guys he's played against it's probably still a bit early because you've maybe yeah. got another 10 years Definitely, if you last yeah. as long as I have done um, but George, you have played in some big games, you've come across some big men. Let's start with number five. Who would say is your fifth toughest guy you've played against? Um, I think all of my uh, toughest opponents have all been forwards. Um, yep. Of course, yeah. One of the One of the hardest blocks in rugby league was, was Petros Sivinasiva, and I, I didn't play many games against him, but it, yeah. the few games I did, he was always, always tough. You know, it's like tackling a a brick wall basically so he's uh, he was a tough player went all day and uh, yeah the big the big Fijian money yeah big and Fijian Jimmy Peacock tells a story I won't burn it because it's not my story to tell but he's at the center of it and uh, he personifies how tough this guy is like a brick wall yeah like granite massive and I imagine there'll be a fair few players when we ask them in five or six years' time who the toughest opponents they've played against. I'm sure you know, maybe three or four might end with Burgess, but who's, who's number four? Who's your number four? The Sims brothers always, you know, were always a tough, tough opponents and always stuck it to me. So I'd say Ashton Sims, you know, when he was yeah. when he was playing in, in the NRL, he, I always had some good battles with him. And uh, yeah, he was, he was always a... Uh, a good opponent in the front row. Because you don't always have to be massive either. I think with Ashton Sims for me, he's, he's somebody that's quite resilient and persistent and he keeps coming, doesn't he? Yeah. He's a bit grubby. I remember once on yeah, rugby. He's got a bit of that bit, bit of that grubbiness in him. I suppose that's what makes makes you uh, makes him stand out a bit more. Me, but, yeah. me uh, I know he does a little bit of work uh, for television and wears these crazy collars. Like, it looks like, um, what's like the guy his... who, does, who does the fight? Harry Hill. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, it's funny. It suits him because he looks like some sort of Norse god, doesn't he? Yeah, I want. I want to grow my hair like his. I, yeah. like, I love his hair. Why, why don't you? you, I'm, you gonna, yeah, smash I'm gonna have. I'm gonna grow my hair like him. Big beard as well. But uh, me and Simo turned up in some fancy dress anyway, and uh, we looked daft enough. But Simo went and said to him, "I've heard from a lot of players that you're a grub, and I just want it for water swallowing up. What is he doing? But yeah. it, that's what it was like in it. Yeah, his, his brothers as well. I've played against all his brothers. You know. Tariq not as much, but Corbin is young. I played against Corbin in the 20s, and he's very similar. Yep. Big, big body and a bit of a grub size. So but good, good, uh, good, fella, good fellas, and um, you know they're really good family. Well, they'll get a lot of uh, viewing of Ashton Sims in Toronto next year. Who's uh, number three for you, Georgie? I'd say James Graham's up there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, every time you're playing against him, you know he's on the field, and uh, you, 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 know, you can definitely hear him. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, he's everywhere. He's, he's always on the ball and. Um, you know, you've got to get in front of him. He's hard work. I used to have some battles with him when he was at that St. Helens team that were unbelievable in 06-07. Yeah. And I once heard the scientific study, I read it, and it's not my fault. If it's true, it's true. If it ain't, I don't know, but I read it and it's true, I'll find it. That one said that people with ginger hair have got a lower pain tolerance. Really? Apparently don't like pain, but yeah. he does like pain because he'll does bleed. His arms me. and legs can be falling off and he'll still keep coming yeah, on it. Definitely. Horrible, stubborn Always little scouser. Away. Great yeah. to play with, great to play with though, but yeah. you know, even better to play against. Yeah, he's a good <laughs> lad, very good player, rate him right up there. Uh, who's your number two? Number two, um, it'd have to be the Kiwi, um, Jason Tamalolo. Yeah. Right. He's a very strong runner, he's got great footwork, and you know, you've got to really be, you know, on, on your on your on your game to tackle him and. You know, put your body in front of him to stop him. So absolutely, he's a he's big man. He's an up-and-coming player in the NRL, and you know, he's seen you've seen him win the Dally M last couple of years. So he's he's just he's just killing it over here. Is it that bit of footwork? Because when you play a big guy, sometimes you line them up and yeah. they just do that little jink at the last minute, yeah. puts you off balance, and makes you look silly, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, his footwork and his speed is probably he's, he's one of the fastest players in the game, and he's a forward. So he's uh, it's up, you know, it's pretty impressive. Fast twitch muscle fibers, yeah. big uh, drum roll. Uh, who's the number one toughest player you've ever played against? I'd say Sonny Bill Williams um, when he was playing at the Roosters in 2013. 
2014 he was you know one of the best players in the comp then and um, he was really hard to tackle uh, so one, another player that's got really good footwork and acceleration yeah uh, he can really accelerate into the, into the line and he's hard hard player to stop so and he's got just you know bag full of skills and stuff so he's, he's definitely up there Ellen Road 2005 against the Bulldogs. He ended Ryan Bailey, he ended Marcus Bay. And I thought, he's not ending me because I want to go stand out in centre, yeah. get well away from him. Yeah. But uh, he did it often with a shoulder charge, which is yeah. banned now, isn't it? Yeah, Do you no, think I that mean, takes away from the spectacle a bit? Yeah, it does a little bit. I mean, he was the king of the shoulder charge, wasn't right. he? And um, you know, fans love seeing it. And if you, you, know, you still watch the highlight reels, you know, they still show shoulder charges on the highlight reels. So it's. It's one of them one things things really they want to make the game safer so that you know parents want their kids to play and yeah. and all that stuff and, and you know build the build the game in the future but we also want to keep it exciting for the fans and uh, you know I think this I think it can be altered a little bit but um, yeah I like the shoulder charge. We should have a director's cut league where anything goes a bit like yeah. battle royale that'd be pretty cool. George, you're outstanding as always. Thanks for giving us your time here at Rugby.